Taylor Hobson has a culture of engagement, so there's opportunity to innovate in any area. It doesn't even have to be in your area that you work on. We've also got a suggestion box, which incentivizes your idea with a reward. There's plenty of support and guidance available across our business. And we've also got a policy of no idea too small to discuss. Being an experienced applications engineer in Tyler Hobson, I often face interesting projects. For example, I or we uh, try to provide the best uh, metrology solutions for challenges uh, applications through research and experiments. Every day I'm looking to innovate the way we manage our processes, the way that we problem solve, be creative about uh, the, the way that we look at our processes and products. We also need to innovate the way we communicate, the way we implement active ideas and actions in order to make them sustainable. And there's a lot of satisfaction in making really great improvements to our processes. Because Tyler Harbison is uh, uh, constantly innovating, for me, there's always something new to learn. This often makes my daily job more interesting, hardly get bored. In my opinion, we can talk about Marie Curie. She was not an engineer, but Marie, together with her husband, discovered radio and polonium. That's why they won in 1911 the Nobel Prize. She was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize, and I think that until now, she's the only one to win the Nobel Prize twice. During an interview, they asked for Marie, how is living together with a genius? And uh, she answered them, I don't know, you should ask for it to my husband. Different problems require different solution and each one of us work differently. I tend to, you know, break down bigger problems into smaller chunks, prioritize them and map out how I would reach the goal eventually. There are tools and techniques that you can use to help you, but you really just need uh, an inquisitive and open mind. Uh, you need to think logically, but also creatively. You also need an environment that's open to change but it's also your job to help create that environment itself. Once I'm really happy with my prototype and prove out, I then take a methodical approach to you know, implement the solution and see what benefits will come out of it. What I love about the opportunity to be innovative during my daily job at Taylor Robson. Uh, I play the role of service engineer in Italy. That's why maybe I don't need to be so innovative except uh, uh, for a find solution because sometimes maybe I need to find a new solution or a different one and I really like to have a wonderful team who support me in this and accept my creativity and maybe use my creativity uh, for uh, have a different solution from theirs one. Over the years of my career, I have seen a change in the way that business operates. People are putting more value into uh, leadership strengths above and beyond the traditional ones around simply plain intelligence or dominance or assertiveness. Having effective communication, um, working with people with empathy. I'm not saying that those skills are specifically male or female, but I think it's recognised that there needs to be a balance. In the next five years, I would really hope a woman having much more impact on engineering, particularly British engineering. However, currently there is only 11% of engineering workforce is female, and this figure has not been changed in the last 25 years. It is the lowest in Europe. The government and the engineering industries can help empower more women to pursue a career in engineering by providing different types of support.
I would hope that in five years' time, rather than them being barriers to women in engineering, businesses are out searching and hoping and looking for bringing women into their business.